Join me as today we continue our build of Eagle Moss Hero Collector's 1x scale Ecto-1 with issue number 16. Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube and today I'm back again as we uh, well kick off another issue of Eagle Moss Hero Collector's amazing 1-8 scale Ecto-1 this time issue number 16. Now as always if you'd like to sign up for your very own Ecto-1 subscription service here and start building your very own Ecto-1 the same Ecto-1 that I'm building in this video series we've got links right down below in the description click them and sign up today you will not regret it and now that I've got that out of the way let's Let's go ahead, let's move the camera around, let's head to the build table, and let's start building today. Alright guys, and here we are again, back at the build table. As I've already mentioned today, we're kicking off issue number 16 of Eagle Moss Hero Collector's 1-8 scale, Ecto-1. And today, we're going to be focusing in on both stage 55 and 56. So let's go ahead and see what we're building here today. It looks like, uh, first, we're going to be putting together the radio and handset. So let's go ahead and bring in stage 55 right there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and unbag and start the building today. All right, so I got everything unbagged here, and as you can see, there's not too many pieces. We got one, two, three, a wire, some small pieces. Yeah, there, there's really not too much here. So I think stage 55 is gonna be a pretty quick one here. Uh, it looks like our first step is going to be assembling the radio. And for that, it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, we've got the radio control panel, which is this like top piece right here and it's just gonna go I think right in there yeah there we go so everything lines up there uh, it doesn't necessarily like snap in or anything but um, it does actually already feel pretty secure but just in case it looks like we are gonna be uh, well once again further securing it in place using one DP screw so the DP screw just goes in right through the bottom there and as I said, once again, just securing those two pieces together there. Uh, that does look pretty nice, pretty good. Okay, so for our next step here, we're going to be bringing in the back cargo area of the Ecto-1. And if you've been watching uh, our past videos, you've certainly been uh, seeing how this thing is, has been coming along. I love, love, love the look of it. And today we're going to be continuing to add to it because, uh, once again, the radio here is just going to go right in here. There's like a little hole there. A little kind of nub here. It looks like they're just going to rest in there together. Okay, so we got the radio now in there, and uh, we're gonna be securing it in place underneath using uh, two DP screws. And there we go. So second screw now in place underneath the Ecto-1. Let's go ahead and flip this one over. So as you can see now, the radio is in place. And once again, stage 55, it's all about the radio and the handset. So coming up next, we're gonna be assembling said handset. And to do so, it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, you get these two like little pieces here, the diaphragm there, and also the receiver. And we just need to attach them to like this uh, phone looking portion here. And I think with these, these are just gonna pop. Yeah, they just kind of pop right into place. Let's go ahead and get this other one in there. So that's now built. Uh, after that, we've actually got to get the uh, the wire in place or the, the cord as they called in the instruction manual. And it looks like for that piece, it's just gonna attach right right there all right now that that's in place our next step is going to be attaching that same cable to the uh, the bottom of the handset which hopefully should just there we go yeah it just slides right in there and then i think we just snap the handset right into place here all right and there it is so we've got both the radio and handset inside fully built in the ecto-1 and that finishes up stage 55 as we go ahead and move on to stage 56. Let me go ahead and kind of move this out of frame here. And moving on to stage 56 here, it looks like, uh, once again, much like stage 55, uh, we're not gonna have that much of a build here today. There's not uh, too, too much to this one here. So uh, yeah, give me a second. Let me go ahead and unbag stage 56. And for stage 56 here today, we are going to be constructing the second jump seat uh, for the back of the Ecto-1 here. And for our first part, it looks like we're going to be kicking it off with, uh, well, this piece right here. We've already got the uh, the little sponge kind of in there, so it kind of makes the seat uh, feel all nice and soft. Uh, from there, we're going to be, I think it's, yeah, this piece right here, we're going to be attaching this in here. We just kind of make sure we kind of move up these like little flaps here. There we go. So all the little flaps uh, are over top of there, and then we're going to be securing those in place using, what do we got here? Four MP screws, which I've got right here. So give me a second, and let me get these uh, four screws in here. One, two, three, and four. All 
right, and with that fourth screw in, we have got ourselves the jump seat, the bottom of the jump seat, the butt of the jump seat, I guess you could say. Well, it's where your butt would go. That is all complete. Uh, our next step here, step number two in stage 56, is gonna be attaching that to the base here. And this base, it looks metal, it is just plastic, but uh, it looks for this, how we're gonna do this. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, four holes there. One, two, three, four, four holes there. We're going to match that up, which it uh, holds nicely together right there. And then we're going to be securing both of these together using, uh, what do we got there, four EP screws. And there we go there. So that is now in place. All four screws are in. We've got the jump seat attached to the base. Uh, from there, our next step is gonna be attaching the support, which looks like it's gonna be easy enough. This is the support of my left hand here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be kind of, what do I got there? Yeah, right there putting it up against there, and then we're gonna be securing both of these two pieces together using two more EP screws. And we got the second screw now in place there, so the support is now secure to that second jump seat. Now there was another additional piece here that was part of this build, which is this like little black piece of plastic here. I'm assuming it's going to connect, yeah, it's likely gonna connect in some fashion together with the uh, the second jump seat here. But uh, that is where this stage ends. And in turn, that is where today's video ends. So that does it for today. As I said earlier in the video, if you'd like to sign up for your very own 1-8 scale Ecto-1 membership through Eagle Moss Hero Collector, if you'd like to start to build the very same Ecto-1 that I'm building in this video series, we got links right down below in the description. Click them and sign up today and start building, well, once again, your very own Ecto-1. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you would like to help out Ghostbusters news, we got our Patreon page. Link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I will see everybody right back here next time. No bozos in the back of my ambulance pulling out the firehouse. I will handle it. Back off, man. I'm a scientist and all this hardware I brought will fry him quick because astral projections are quite ethereal and not what you want when you eat your cereal. Accelerate proton shorten streams. Don't want to get my face burns up. Go team because Still watch not alone Got a problem that needs solving Just pick up the phone They'll answer down that number Do it on your own Not tonight, baby You need the professionals Yeah Pick up your phone and call the professionals Go, 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 go. go. No one dies Tonight Run for your lives all right, no one dies tonight. Close your eyes. Cry. Pick up your phone and call.